Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. My name is Chad Riveras and I'm going to take you around some of the most exquisite homes across South Africa. Behind me, a four bedroom, three bathroom home, a stone's throw away from Santon. So if you're looking for a home for you or your family while working in Santon, this is the one for you. So without further ado, follow me as we take a look at what makes this home so special. Let's go. And now finally we get to explore this beautiful cluster complex coming through the front door which is frosted for privacy although you are facing the back of the home so privacy is not a concern you find yourself in a beautifully laid out bottom floor now this floor extends two different directions one way goes off to the kitchen and the other way leads you to this awesome room here sitting area with a fireplace beautiful down lighting and then windows dominating one whole half of the wall giving you an unobstructed view of the outside area the lush garden green grass stunning blue pool so this makes the perfect place for you to sit relax with some friends enjoy a cup of coffee after dinner and when we talk about dinner that does mean dining room area let's take a look because it does happen to lead seamlessly from that room into your dining room area I think a lot of you would have noticed right off the bat this stunning chandelier. We definitely haven't seen one of this type before. I love the unique lighting elements we see touring all of these homes and it gives this room such a feeling of specialness, of uniqueness, hanging right above this stunning eight-seater dining room table. Again, behind me, window letting in some natural light, but this room is huge, just off the kitchen area and it is surrounded by some down lighting, again, emphasizing that this is a room that you can sit down and really have a formal dinner. But a dining room doesn't make sense if it's not close to the kitchen. So through this pocket door right here, I love that they've got this pocket door in the corner, saving space, but also this kitchen has a ton of unique features that we've not seen before. So let me go through some of the standard stuff. We've got these dark Caesar stone countertops, obviously center island, beautiful prep fridge, so much cupboard space. And then again, high quality homes always have these built in appliances making you feel so fancy. So that is really cool. The appliances are all AEG. But now you've noticed this, obviously the extractor fan, but really coolly shaped, super unique, super cool shaped. And then there's more of these unique touches in brushed stainless steel. If we wrap around and come over here, you'll see a wall of cupboard space. Great, we all understand how important it is to have cupboard space. But you don't notice this hump and this hump. And sometimes it's just decoration and you're like, why is this decoration here? Does it actually work? But this, it definitely works. How cool is this? Pocket shelving all your shelvings there and it also makes a decorative feature so i really love that this is included it's so cool there are two of them this door over here leads off to your double garage and then right this way is your scullery area so this isn't all the storage in the home You've also got the scullery area with a double sink, under counter storage for two appliances on one side, one appliance on the other side, and then another double sink. So you've got that incredible dining room area, but you've also got the capacity in the kitchen to make sure you're keeping everybody entertained. So we've wrapped up the kitchen, dining area done, which means we need to look at some of the living areas. We're gonna head this way past this stunning staircase that wraps all the way up, beautiful inlaid wood flooring, stunning lighting. We're gonna take a look at those living areas and then we're gonna take the journey up the staircase and see what the top holds for us. Let's go. So walking down this pathway, the first thing you'll notice is this huge stack of glass doors right here, letting in a lot of natural light, but also letting you enjoy the look and feel of this stunning garden. Like I said, beautiful blue pool, greenery, a nice, a nice outside patio area. But on my left hand side is where you're gonna be doing all the work. You've got your very own office, two pocket doors opening out into 
plentiful space for whatever work from home business you might be doing. We've got built in shelving as well as a desk there. So if you are working from home, you're gonna make sure you're doing the best work possible. The other side of the wall, also window space there, letting in all of that natural light, making you feel alive, making you feel passionate and making you ready for the work day ahead. But right now you'll see I'm standing in your lounge area. Now the lounge area also has some really cool unique features. Not only that it's large and spacious with high ceilings, but one whole corner of the walls is full glass looking out onto your pool and I love pools that come right up to the glass in living areas and although this one falls just a tiny bit short it does feel when you're sitting in the lounge that the pool's right there ready for you to jump into and enjoy a summer day cool off or have that light stream in and enjoy some TV here. But that does wrap up our downstairs area, which leaves only one thing left, and that is for us to take a walk up the stairs and take a look at the bedrooms. So again, we find ourselves on the staircase. Nice lights leading all the way up, frosted glass, making up the railing, the rest of it stainless steel, and what staircase is complete without these cool windows letting in again natural light, but also then you take a look outside onto the balcony. So now that we're on the landing, we've got the first bathroom you come to upstairs includes a double vanity, two sinks, and a massive mirror spanning the length of the one wall. You've got a walk-in shower with frameless glass, and then your toilet is kept off right in the middle between the bathtub. On the other side of the wall, you've got blinds covering a window looking out to a private part of your garden. Now that we've got the first bathroom covered, let's talk about the first bedroom. This bedroom, the first thing that grabs your attention walking in is not only the plush carpeted floor, but the fact that it's got its very own balcony just waiting for you to explore outside. This balcony wraps along the majority of the household and those windows lead out seamlessly, not only just to the garden, but also to that balcony. The rest of the bedroom does incorporate plentiful storage in the way of white cupboards, down lighting on the ceiling, and then your very own thermometer for heated flooring. Your last bedroom, this time slightly smaller than the rest in the home, makes for a perfect secondary office space, storage space, or even kids room. You've got cupboards dominating the one wall and the other wall taken over by two sets of glass doors, sliding doors again that lead out onto that balcony that's dominated by stainless steel balustrades, beautiful frosted glass and looking straight down onto that stunning pool. Now your third bedroom before you reach the master suite has its very own aircon. Again, stunning down lighting and plentiful storage. But this bedroom, what really does set it apart is not the fact that it's again got its own private balcony, but that it comes with a in-suite bathroom, or should I say en-suite bathroom. You've got heated flooring for both the bedroom as well as a bathroom. And now your bathroom comes with a single vanity, its own shower, bathtub, toilet, and then lots of natural light coming from windows facing two separate directions. And now it's time for the creme de la creme, the master suite. And again, it does follow in theme that double doors open outwards onto your master suite. We've got a really cool stepped ceiling over there with some recessed lighting right here, making it a feature wall. But this time that wall happens to be on the ceiling. Beautiful lighting recessed into the ceiling as well. And then just over to the side, you've got a walk-in closet your very own ensuite toilet. We're gonna to take a look at that and then sliding glass doors that lead out onto your balcony. So let's take a look at this bathroom over here and then let's head off to that balcony to say goodbye. Walking into the bathroom, you'll immediately have your breath taken away, not only by the steps leading up to the sunken jacuzzi bathtub, but also to the expansive marble that has the two vanities sunken into it as well. You've got a frameless mirror just above those vanities. And then talking about frameless, so is your walk-in shower. Behind the walk-in shower in the bathtub, plenty of light streams through the glass openings. And that concludes our wrap up of this stunning home right here in the heart of Santon City. I'm out on the balcony and this is where I'm gonna talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible four bedroom, three bathroom home. So what I'd like you to do is head to the description of this video and you'll see both the contact details as well as the name of this agent and the price point of which they'll start accepting offers. So do not hesitate and get this home before it gets snatched up and taken right off the market. But for myself, Chad Riveros, the team at the Home Shopper Show, as well as everybody at Private Property, thank you so much for tuning in once again as we tour some of the coolest, some of the quirkiest, and some of the most outrageous homes across South Africa. 
Tune in again because we air every Monday to Friday and we've got some incredible homes coming up. That's all I've got to say and I will see you next time. Goodbye.